we are in a state of emergency, and so we're taking emergency action. The proposal that will go to the council is as follows. We'll ask council to place on the ballot an amendment of the charter that would carve out one-third of the revenue from the special one-quarter percent income tax that was approved by voters in May 2003 to rebuild our schools in the community learning centers. For this, the version of that one-third of the money will be for three years. The one-third reallocation would generate about $4.3 million a year, and we will commit in the language that it would only be used for public safety purposes, which we are defining to clarify and make sure there's no misunderstandings for the departments of police, fire and EMS, and for snow removal, because with a third cut in personnel in public service so that we didn't have to lay off police and fire or, or didn't have to lay off uh, as many, uh, we are down to a point where we have real concerns about whether or not we're going to be able to get the snow and ice off the street, which obviously is a public safety concern for our citizens. I want to make clear that I am doing a second part of this proposal in clear and hopefully in language that is very clear to the public that we will add on to the collection period for that one quarter percent for a period of five years to do two things, to repay the one third per year for three years that I just talked about and to allow for additional funding to make certain that all of the schools, all of the neighborhood schools are dealt with as per the state plan. I was told very clearly by at least three major union groups, private sector union groups in this city, that they would not support this in any way, shape, or form unless they saw that the police union made some of the same and similar sacrifices to what their members have sacrificed. So they consider this to be not a great risk, but some risk to them and their jobs to build these schools, and they are not going to support it if the police don't do some of the things that they and other unions, both public and private, have done. So this proposal is based on one simple factor of this, it's a contingency, and it is contingent upon the police union coming forward and rationally sitting down at the table and bargaining, as we have in good faith, an agreement that would be, as I'm saying, it's similar to, they're not the same because they have different provisions for dental and eyeglass and everything else under the sun, but similar to the sacrifice that the firefighters have agreed to for the next three years.